Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Citrus Games. Uh, today I'm looking at a new game. It's a demo of a game to come called Keep Out by Weaver Active. Um, we play a character, a toy, who is called Mr. M. And uh, I don't really know too much about the story, so I'm just going to get into it and give it a try. The only thing I do know about it is that it has the same sort of perspective as... Uh, Little Nightmares, which I thoroughly enjoyed. I played that not too long ago on my Twitch channel. Uh, the game is described as a horror mystery puzzle game. Two of those things I have a huge problem with. So let's get into it. Seems relatively simple on the commands. Looks like we've got cursor keys for left, right, up, down, and interaction space. Simple. Just how I like it. Graphics already looking very nice. That sort of 3D platformer perspective. That's, uh... Oh, so there we are. We're already started. So we've got a uh, little egg character down here. Is he an egg? Like an egg toy. So we can jump. Spacebar's doing nothing. I'm assuming that's for, like, dragging things. And whatnot. I do love these 3D perspective games, though. Oh, cock! <laughs> well, I had a great start. Apologies for the language there. I need a tighter headset, I think. Uh, we're safe. He's fine. He's behind bars. Look at those red eyes. Come on, Mr. M. We've got this. Look at that lens flare. Also very similar to... Ah! Oh! To... I forgot, I've got a, a mind blank. Limbo and the like. Is, the do is that dog... Has he knocked itself out? I feel this is going to be one of those games which is like trial by death. I saw that... That can only end badly. Hang on, was there anything on the... Ah, we need to get up there, I think, don't we? I think we need to get up there. But can we have a look under here first? Yeah. So even though it looks 3D, you can't travel 3D. It's still only left and right. But I do love that 3D effect. Hoo oh, hang on, we have to stay on the button. Well, I, I don't know what it's lifting, though. Lifting something. Is it going to carry on going? I'm not sure how long this demo is, but... There we go. So it stopped. Run! Oh, we're supposed to push that underneath. So it stops the thing, I think. We're not going to get that under there now, are we? Oh, no. I'm already stuck at the first puzzle. Try again. So we get the bucket underneath the shutter gate thing. Okay, go. those slow motion things. I thought it was going faster than what it was. And we're up. Hoi! This is so much like... Ah! Oh, it's a little mouse. So much like... Little nightmares. Oh, shit! 
Okay. Note to self. It is not a cute mouse. It's a nasty rat. Go! Wait for him to turn around. Ooh, what's that? We play Rubik's Cube? Hammer! We interact with any of this stuff? Oh, fuck it! Jesus Christ! Oh my god! The hell was that? Right, so there's a guy down here. Run! Run now! So, I think there's a bit of lore to this game as well, suggesting that these toys uh, were given life, if you will, and then basically the town turned on them, um, like a mercy killing of them all, and then we're left with this one toy who's taking on the world. I guess we'll get more of the story with the full game. So, someone's sleeping. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, ah! oh, God. I thought he was asleep. Right. Can I interact with this? It said spacebar to interact. The water's touching his foot, so I'm guessing it's got something to do with that. Damn it! He's tricking me. He's not really asleep. Right, so is there anything to do then? It said spacebar to interact. I feel like those two cords have to be pulled together. We definitely can't go past him because he's just going to squash us with a rock. So, hopefully we can electrocute this guy. Oh! The wire is live. Ah, okay. We need to join. I thought we had to join. Oh, Jesus. I th we are not supposed to be the nasty one. Oh. <laughs> Oh, look at him, he's still juddering. I think what this could do with is a little bit of sort of ambient music, some kind of tone going through it without any music at all. It's. We'll be back with a new demo. So that's it then. That is the limit of the demo. So just a short introduction to the game there by the looks of it. Well, I did enjoy it. I quite enjoyed that. I am looking forward to seeing the full version. Hope you enjoyed that, guys. And let me know if you think you might like that game. Definitely looks like something that uh, people who enjoyed Little Nightmares would enjoy. Okay, so we'll leave it there. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like and a comment below. And uh, subscribe to me if you aren't already, if you want to see some more stuff from me.
And don't forget, I also stream on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash citrus with a seven instead of a T. And as always, guys, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.